Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we'll consider a numerical on lattice structure. The task is to find the determine, uh, do to determine the lattice coefficients corresponding to the FIR filter with the system function H of Z has been given and the lattice structure. So there are two tasks over here. One is to find the lattice coefficients and another is to uh, sketch the lattice structure. I would recommend you to watch this video till end so that I will solve this numerical step by step even though if there is any change in the numerical in the final exam one must be able to do it. So I said this is one of the easiest numericals only thing is we must remember one formula and we should, uh, we should know the terminologies. So let us begin with the numerical. In this numerical what I say is the letter M. So let me write the letter M indicates degree of polynomial. M indicates degree of polynomial. Correct? So now, what is the highest degree here? This is uh, 3. So M I would take it as uh, 3. Correct? Once uh, we know the highest degree of the polynomial M is equal to 3, let me write. Uh, we have, I can write few coefficients here a3 of 0. I can write it straight away. a3 of 0 is nothing but 1. So just know the method. I would call the first uh, this uh, number as a3 of 0. Next I would call it as a3 of 1 which is equal to 13 divided by 24 in this case. And uh, next a3 of 2 must be equal to 5 divided by 8. And uh, lastly a3 of 3 is equal to 1 by 3. So when m is equal to same and k, m is equal to k, I would call this as a k3 itself. These are the coefficients we are interested in. I said uh, to find the coefficients, let me write to find the lattice coefficients. The lattice uh, coefficients. Which are those coefficients? They are k1, k2 and k3. So these are the three coefficients. In the given numerical itself they have given k3. a3 of 3 is nothing but k3 itself. So we have already found k3. The next thing is I need to find k1 and k2. So what must be k1 and k2? So let me write. Uh, we know that. We know that. a2 of 2 is nothing but k2. So how did I write this? The way I have written a3 of 3 is equal to k3. Similarly a3 of 2 must be k2 and what must be k1? It must be a1 of 1. So once you know this, uh, rest of the things become uh, very simple. And uh, next thing is I will just write the formula of lattice coefficients which is uh, given as a of m minus 1 k a m minus 1 of k is equal to a m of k minus a m of m into a m of m minus k. So that is there in the numerator and that gets uh, divided by, so let me write the thing in the denominator, that is 1 minus a m square of m. So this is the formula, a very important formula to find the lattice coefficients. In the entire numerical we must remember this uh, formula. Once we know this, uh, rest of the things we can find uh, very easily. Yes, I told you we already know what is uh, k3. The next task is to find uh, k2 and later uh, k1. So how do I find k1? So in this numerical, in this uh, expression, I need to put m and k. So what must be m? and what must be k so that I would get the expression for a2 of 2. Are you getting it? So in this expression I need to put m and k. But what must be the values of m and k so that I would get a2 of 2. So here look here the number is 2. So to get the number over 2 here m must be what must be m? Are you getting it? m must be 3. Yes. 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2. So m must be 3. And what must be k? k must be 2. Straight away. For m is equal to 3, k is equal to 2. So what is the uh, what is this equation going to be? 
it turns out to be a to of 2 equal to so here uh, just uh, write down the complete expression uh, a here I said m is equal to 3 it is a3 of 2 minus a3 of 3 that gets uh, multiplied with a3 of m minus k 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1 are you getting it so again this gets uh, divided by so let me just divide this expression uh, by 1 minus a m square of m and I said m is equal to 3 so it turns out to be a 3 square of 3 are you following what I am writing here so next thing is I just have to put the values majority of the values I already know it a 3 of 2 is it is it known yes it is uh, known here a 3 of 2 is uh, 5 by 8 is that correct yes just substitute the value as 5 divided by 8 minus a 3 of 3 a 3 of 3 is nothing but 1 by 3 so let's substitute for 1 by 3 similarly a 3 of 1 a 3 of 1 must be 13 divided by 24 13 divided by 24 so this gets divided by 1 minus a 3 of 3 square a 3 of 3 is 1 by 3 1 by 3 square turns out to be 1 by 9 so just simplify this further I think I don't need any calculator uh, to solve this further uh, just uh, do simple math 5 by 8 uh, this uh, turns out to be 13 divided by 72 uh, 24 3 is 72 that gets uh, divided by uh, <coughs> sorry uh, take 9 as the LCM 9 minus 1 is 8 8 divided by 9 so this again turns out to be uh, take the LCM as uh, 72 uh, and uh, 8 9 is 72 uh, 9 5 is 45 there in the numerator 45 minus uh, 13 that gets multiplied with 9 by 8 if I take this in the numerator it turns out to be 9 by 8 so what is this equal to uh, th 45 minus 13 that is 32 is that correct 32 divided by 72 into 9 by 8 so you can solve this 9 1 is 9 8 is 8 1s are 8 4s are 32 and uh, 4 by 8 which turns out to be 1 by 2 therefore therefore I would write uh, therefore I would write k2 equal to a2 of 2 equal to 1 divided by 2 so I got the second coefficient similarly I need to find the third coefficient that is a1 of 1 that is k1 to find k1 which is equal to a1 of 1 so what must be m and what must be k so that I have to uh, reduce the equation so what must be m m must be can you can you tell me what must be m I said I want a1 of uh, 1 so how do I find a1 of 1 m must be 2 so if I put m equal to 2 m equal to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 a1 k must be 1 a1 of 1 so k must be 1 so just substitute these values the equation turns out to be a1 of 1 is equal to uh, that uh, that is equal to am of uh, k m is 2 k is 1 therefore it is a2 of 1 minus am of m that is a2 of uh, 2 and here I will get a2 of 1 is that correct because here I have uh, a m of m minus k m is uh, 2 uh, m minus k uh, 2 minus 1 turns out to be 1 a 2 of 1 yes that's correct that gets uh, divided by 1 minus a 2 square of 2 a 2 square of 2 so can I put the values for these things a 2 of 2 I just know the value what uh, it is the 1 by 2 but I don't know what is a 2 of 1 in the numerical it has been given a3 of 1 but I don't know what is a2 of 1 so thing is I need to find a2 of 1 and then uh, consider this equation again so again the task is to find a2 of 1 so how do I find a2 of 1 again I need to put m and k in that equation so that I would get a2 of uh, 1 so what what must be m m must be 3 because 3 minus 1 turns out to be 2 so that I would get a2 k must be 1 straight away <coughs> are you getting it so now I can write the expression a2 of 1 is equal to 
it is a3 of 1 minus a3 of 3 into a3 of 2. Is that correct? So that gets divided by 1 minus a3 square of 3. So just put the values here. I guess I know all the values. A3 of 1, it turns out to be 13 by 24. Is that correct? Just go up and check. A3 of 1 is 13 by 24. So put the value as 13 by 24 minus A3 of 3. A3 of 3, it is 1 by 3. A3 of uh, 2, it has been given. I guess it is uh, 5 by 8. Just let, let me check. A3 of 2. Yes, 5 by 8. Correct. That gets divided by 1 minus a3 square of 3. Uh, what is the value? a3 of 3 is nothing but 1 by 3 square of that 1 by 9. So just simplify this again uh, using simple math and uh, towards the end it turns out to be a2 of 1 turns out to be 3 divided by 8. Correct? a2 of 1 turns out to be 3 by 8. But we need to find a1 of 1. That is in this expression. Put uh, the value in a1 of 1. So let me write. Put a2 of 1 equal to 3 by 8 in equation of a1 of 1. Therefore, it turns out to be a1 of 1 is equal to 3 by 8 minus 1 by 2 into 3 by 8 that gets divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 square it is 1 by 4 so i would recommend you to solve this uh, simple math and it turns out to be a1 of 1 k1 is equal to therefore k1 is equal to a1 of 1 which is equal to 1 divided by 4 turns out to be 1 by 4 so now we got all the coefficients so let me write the coefficients k1 is equal to 1 by 4 similarly k2 we got it as a 1 by 2 and uh, lastly k3 which was given straight away it is a 1 divided by 3 so now we got all the coefficients so just be careful in the mathematics make sure you get the equations correct and uh, get your calculator correct so that we get the answer these answers the last task is to sketch the structure to sketch the structure become uh, very easy so let me sketch the final structure it is a three stage uh, structure so I told you it is a three stage uh, structure depending on the values of uh, k1, k2, k3. So here I would write the input uh, that is uh, x of n and uh, here I would get uh, the first stage. So let me just sketch the first stage. Just be careful uh, all of you while sketching these uh, stages. So just know the skeleton structure so that uh, you can draw any structure uh, given with respect to lattice structure yes almost there so this is i would uh, write a positive sign here this this is an adder and this is another adder and i must i should have had one uh, delay element here so this i would call it as uh, z to the power minus one the first delay element so now i just join these things with the arrow marks this is the one and this is another one so just be careful with the arrow marks so this is how it is this is so this is a k1 what is k1 k1 i got it as a 1 by 4 so it gets multiplied with 1 by 4 so this is the input x of n correct the next thing is i just have to repeat this structure for three more times so just draw a straight line and i should have an adder here here i should have uh, one delay element after that I should have an adder over here and then uh, with a straight line I just have to join these two things something like this and with the arrow mark just be careful uh, this is how the arrow marks uh, flow and I would call this as a k2 what must be k2 k2 must be 1 divided by 2 uh, we got k2 as 1 by 2 so just uh, follow this thing for one more time and this is now the third stage here I will have one adder and here I will have one delay element this I call it as z to the power minus 1 here I will have the adder and later I just have to join those things with the straight lines so one over here another over here 
and this is the third stage that gets multiplied with k3 what is k3 k3 is 1 divided by 3 so finally this is how the structure the lattice structure looks like this i would call it as a y of n this i would call it as the intermediate signal uh, g3 of n we are not interested in this uh, but we should know the structure uh, in the structure so this is the final structure of a three stage lattice structure in the exam in the uh, numerical may get changed to two stage or four stage based on that we must be able to draw the lattice structure just be careful uh, just go through this numerical again so that you will understand this completely and you can solve any numerical on the given lattice structure i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely address those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel and classes for more videos on digital signal processing till then thank you everyone for watching